Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this video I want to walk you through how to drive pixels in GeoPix, that is the virtual pixels on the screen from an outside source coming in from you know your own favorite VJ software. So if you've got something streaming uh, Artnet or streaming ACN locally on your computer you can actually go ahead and pick this up in GeoPix and visualize that in real time. So to kind of simulate ascending software, you can use whatever you want, but I'm going to be using Touch Designer to just kind of send out some very basic data. This is a very simple patch, basically just uh, generating some RGB values for 170 pixels, and the channels are offset slightly, so we'll get some nice colors. Uh, over here on the DMX out, we have uh, just one channel, and this is basically going to universe zero, right? This is Artnet. Now, depending on the software you're using, you may have to increment your GeoPix universe by one. Depends on if your software is one or zero based. Uh, if you're using streaming ACN, that also adds some complications because streaming ACN reserves that first universe. And depending on what you're using, uh, that might be accounted for or it might not. Um, anyways, just keep that in mind. If you don't see anything coming out in GeoPix, try adding one to your universe in GeoPix. Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and make a simple fixture. Now, I'm going to breeze through this pretty quickly. Uh, if you're new to GeoPix, check out the Getting Started series on GitHub or some of the other bare bones tutorials as well to kind of get you up to speed. All right, so we're going to create object all, and we'll drop in a fixture, and then we'll go ahead and go into hull mode. I'm going to hit A on the keyboard to go into add mode for hulls, and then I'm just going to click on the icon to make the first hull. And then I'll do that one more time to make a second one. And I'll just go into my move tool with the W key and I'm gonna move this up. I'm gonna go back to A for add and add another one, move this to the right. And then I'm gonna hit A one more time and add a fourth hull and drag this down a little bit. Now I can just go ahead and put this on the floor again by right clicking on TY and resetting that to zero. So I guess that looks like a little bit of a doorway here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Control A on the keyboard to select all of these hulls and go up to Hull Generator from Selection, and that's going to give us some pixels. Now you can see they're off, and that's because we have nothing in the scene or outside of GeoPix uh, transmitting any kind of data to them. But you can see that they light up when we click on them, and that's just the default behavior for pixels in the viewport. All right, so let's grab our generator and let's scroll down here to the settings. Now, when we create the generator, uh, through the hull uh, menu up here, it's going to basically create them based off of the selection. And if you have all of your hulls selected, over here under hull chords, you're going to get a star, which is a wild card, which means, uh, you know, consume all of the hulls in the generation process. Uh, so what this means is if we go here to our fixture and back to hulls and we add another hull, it's going to automatically kind of dynamically consume all of those hulls, which is kind of uh, neat if you're drawing out strips and you kind of want to see it populate automatically but that's not what we want to do here we really just want the four and that's going to be just fine so we'll go back to object mode click on our generator and down here under x count since we're we're basically sending out you know 170 pixels uh, worth of data just under a universe let's go ahead and set the x count to 170 and there we go got 170 pixels following this entire path. Now I'm going to go ahead and shrink the size of these just a tiny bit so that we can see the individual circles a little bit more, but depending on what you're going for, you may want them to be bigger or smaller. So, all right, so this is done. And the last thing that we need to do is select our fixture and set our address. So uh, over here in the sender, I am using Artnet and Universe 0, right, is the first universe. And in GeoPix, that's going to be Universe 1. Uh, so basically, uh, that's all we need to do there. Let's go ahead and open up our fixture, uh, I'm sorry, our system preferences down here in the bottom left. You can also go up here to File Preferences and pull up the DMX in. Uh, once you're here, just enable this. And if your addressing is correct and matching your sending application, you should see data coming in um, from that external software. Now, let's go ahead and switch over to streaming ACN uh, just to kind of show you this. Now, you'll see that Touch Designer here uh, tells me that we're skipping your reserved universe zero. This is just a thing that you have to uh, know about streaming ACN. Um, that that is that is a thing. So, you know, for this particular test setup for, for touch designer to touch designer, I'm going to go ahead and put this to universe one and back over here in GeoPix, I'm just going to boost this to universe two. 
Uh, that's not working yet because we're still in ArtNet. Let's go ahead and turn this to streaming ACN. And you'll notice nothing is happening still, and that's because over here, we are in fact using multicast. And this is uh, usually nice because you don't have to worry about the address. You just set the uh, universe and everything else gets figured out on the network. So over here, we just need to make sure that we turn on streaming AC and multicast to match that. So once we've done that, uh, we have pixels lighting up yet again. Okay, so if we turn off multicast on the sending app, uh, we might still get data here. Uh, so this is only going to help probably if you have multicast on. If you have it off, it's basically going direct like unicast. Uh, but in that case, you may need to set a target IP address. Uh, since I'm using 255s all the way across here, it's pretty much just going to get picked up regardless. So uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and hope this helps. Stick around for the next one.